Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought we had in our first and our fourth quarter were really good quarters for us. And I think there was some learning moments in the second and third. I, here's the thing: I love we didn't have we didn't come out in the third quarter with the intensity we all wanted, but we turned it on. You know, when we when uh, we had that timeout, we we changed our mentality, and that's I think from a young team that's what you want to see. And we changed our complete our mentality the rest of the third quarter and the fourth quarter, and it really changed the tempo of the game. So I. I like to see that um, defensively. I thought we did some good things, um, but we've got to continue to work. Too many fouls. Um, I like that we cleaned up our turnovers the second half. I like that we dominated the glass the second half. So a lot of good things to take away, especially in the fourth quarter. That's why you have to be coming off the field. I know you don't know this, but that's a career high for her. Okay. It's um, a personal best of 35, 34 points. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. Wow. She is our energy. She is our intensity. I, the last couple of weeks, she's been injured, of course. And I think uh, our last game, she wasn't at full strength. And she's been still going out there and giving her all. And when she's at full strength, she's probably our best player. And, and she brings the intensity. She's put in a lot of hard work. And you can see from her freshman year to now how much work she's put in. If you guys watched her, I mean, it's amazing the work she's put in and developed and uh, she's got an inside-outside game now. She can get to the basket with the best of them, and she was hitting her three tonight too, and I just love the energy ener energy that she provided tonight. It really sparked us. 13 minutes for Christine off the bench just trying to get her back yeah. to full strength. Yeah, uh, I pleaded and begged for some limited minutes tonight. I, she just changes our tempo. I mean, just and just her calmness about her and the way that she shoots it. She hit those couple threes. I think she had a couple threes. Uh, yeah early on it just kind of got us going and so again she's kind of our junior captain and she's got to be out there for us and um so give her some limited minutes tonight and hopefully you know on saturday she can give us a little bit more yeah Tell game barrage as well talked about her tonight and she had a couple i, I think she had two threes in like 10 seconds there. yeah she did um for i mean defensively i thought i know the score was what it was on Tuesday. I thought she did a really good job defensively on Tuesday. I, she's going up against some of the better players in the nation, and she, she did a really good job. Um, we wanted to carry that over tonight. I thought defensively she did a great job. She's trying to find her shot. She's trying to find her confidence, and she will. She's such a good player, and I thought tonight she just let it come to her. She didn't try to force it. I think in the games previous, she's taken some bad shots, and she knows it, but now tonight she really let the offense come to her, and, and you could see that with those two makes back and back doesn't really change over the next couple of weeks either, but it feels like you guys have been playing like one game a week. And how has that yeah. kind of affected you guys momentum-wise? I think it's hard to carry momentum when you have one game a week. Um, I think there's been some ups and downs this non-conference, but I think we, we have gotten a lot better in the last month. And I think the growth of this team, you can see it. Now, it's still glimpses that we're not there. And I think it's kind of we're, we're talking about the middle block changing our mentality and with the young team you have to do that all the time so that's what that timeout was about nothing has changed let's get back to what we do let's follow the game plan and let's get to the next possession and so I, I liked how they responded because early in the season we didn't do that and now we are and so that's what you want to see as we get into the next week and then get into conference play what have you guys learned from not only the LSU game but Baylor and Kansas State as well I know this sounds crazy. We learned that we can play with them. I know that I, I know the scores, but every first quarter we were in the game. Then there was something that happened that changed that momentum for us, and it really wasn't the other team. I know that LSU pressed us the entire game. I know that it was up until the fourth quarter, but we kept our composure. Like it wasn't their press that caused the turnovers. It was more of our reaction, and that's where we have to be better. It was us, and tonight we did that again the first quarter, and then we changed it. So we saw the difference tonight where we could change it and take care of the ball and be better. I think Kansas State, LSU, two of the better teams in the nation. Baylor's right up there with them. But for us to go in there and compete against Baylor, have the lead in the first quarter, play really, really good in the first quarter, I thought Kansas State, we actually competed in the second half and stayed with them. And LSU, I thought that first quarter, I mean, it's 10-10. And then we've got to find a way to score. We've got to find a way to get a stop. And that's where we continue to learn possession by possession. We want to see the next two games, especially starting with Carlton, as you kind of get ready for the conference. 
they're both really, really good teams. Major improvements. Like I said before, UAPB has knocked off Arkansas SMU. They've got a really talented team, maybe even an All-American on their team. Tarleton's been up and down a little bit, but they're very, very talented. It still comes back to us, though, and we have to make sure that we play good defense. We've changed up our defense a little bit. We want to get to a place where we can mix it up a little bit more. We can we can play some 2-3. We can play some man. Uh, we can play some full court. We can play some run and jump. We can play some trapping. We're not there yet, but we're getting closer, and I think tonight showed it. Um, offensively, our execution. You see the difference. When we execute, we score easily. When we don't, we struggle, and so we've got to make sure that we – execute correctly, set the right screen, cut the right place. And when we do, I like our flow of offense. And again, on Saturday, it's going to come down to rebounding. We've got to block out and dominate the class, kind of like we did the second half. We, you know, you're four and seven. Yep. But if you take away the three top 15 sure. games, yep. do you do it? Do you look at it that way? Or do you, do you have to look at it as who you play each time? I haven't really thought about it like that. I, I, I kind of just focusing one game at a time. I know that's such a coach saying, but with this team, it's about their development early on, and it's about continuing that development for Northwestern State. And so we take every game as they come. And I, you look at LSU, and there's no weaknesses, and they're a top five team and all that, but you still have to work on us. And there was a lot of things that we were lacking in that game, especially in the second half. I thought we improved tonight. We still need to get through some stuff, though, especially in that third quarter. But if we continue that momentum into Saturday, we've got a chance to win. And if we continue that against UAPP, we got a chance to win. And then we're ready for Northwestern State. Okay. Nope, that's okay. it. Okay, all right.